Have you been thinking about starting a podcast, but you are not quite sure yet? This episode is for you because we're going to be talking about benefits of starting a podcast. Here we go. If you are a female Christian entrepreneur or life coach, you need a podcast. And if you have a podcast, you need a podcast coach. Finding a supportive and empowering community is key to podcaster success. Through my holistic approach as a trained life coach and my experience in the podcast industry since 2016, I want to encourage you weekly through answering your podcasting questions. I'm cheering for you and your voice matters. Hey friend, welcome to Holistic Podcasting. I am your podcast coach, Kristen Chadwick. Hey, I want to give a shout out to my special listeners. I've been looking in that Libsyn stats, if you know what I mean. It's the hosting platform that I use, and I love how it really narrows down where people are listening. And so today I'm shouting out Texas and North Carolina. What's up, you guys? I want to hear from you. I want to see your name or your feedback or your review on Apple Podcast because that's how I know and, and get that feedback from you. So Texas, North Carolina, I'm calling you out. I see you. You're listening. And I just want to say thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for finding me. And I want to hear what is speaking to you. So I can't wait for that. Also, I want you to stay tuned till the end of the episode today because I'm going to start at the end of each episode having a question that is commonly asked to me, whether it's been in the last few months or a current question, but it's going to be the ask the podcast coach question of the week. And you won't want to miss today's because it is one I get often and it has to do with the benefits of starting a podcast. And that's what we're talking about today. I speak with people every week about podcasting. Some are ready to roll. They have had a dream and are 100% on board with starting a podcast. And then there are some that are kind of on the fence. They are wanting to start a podcast, but they're not quite sure if it's a yes, yes, yet. Or they want to start a podcast, but it's, it, they're not quite sure on the timing. So there are also, <laughs> there are also people that are, maybe they just aren't quite sure or they've never really thought about podcasting and they want to hear more. So this month, I want to really invite you into a series about how, why to start a podcast, how to start a podcast, and then we're going to slide right into how to grow a podcast. And here's my agenda. I want to be upfront with you. I want to help you and I want to champion you to start your podcast and to take your current podcast to the next level. And I am opening up my podcast boot camps the first week in August for the beginner podcaster and the current podcaster who want to take it to the next level. There are two podcast boot camps. One is for the beginner and one is for the seasoned podcaster. So these next episodes are going to be geared towards you guys. I 100% believe that if you are listening to this episode, you are made to start a podcast and you are made to have a successful podcast. And the question is, are you going to heed the call? If you have not listened to, you have a message to deliver episode, which was Oh, I think it's episode 79. I should have looked at that before I <laughs> hit record. But that right there is foundational. It is baseline. So go listen to that. And I have a feeling that if you pressed play on here, there's something within you that is curious about starting a podcast. So today I want to really shed some light on the benefits of starting a a podcast. And there really are so many different benefits of starting a podcast. Number one is establishing your authority in your field. Whether you're in ministry or you own a small business, you're a stay-at-home mom with 
just the love of Jesus in your heart, wanting to share the gospel. People are looking to you. You are a leader. One of the one of my former boot campers is a stay-at-home mom who started to build an incredible business out of her home. And she really struggled at the beginning of this podcast boot camp. And she was struggling with whether or not she should start a podcast. And part of the reason was it was a big investment for her. It was going to be a sacrifice. She was going to have to have her husband work a little bit of overtime. But here's the thing. She said yes to the call on her heart to create an impact. And because of that, she has been able to share stories on her podcast of people who are creating impact all over the world. And it has been exactly what her small business needed. And people see her now as a leader, a brave woman, using her voice and creating spaces for people to be encouraged to love one another well. Number two, the second benefit of podcasting, of having a podcast, is increasing your reach. Podcasting is the most amazing, incredible platform to amplify your voice. Your message is meant to be heard, and this increases your ability to reach more people. If you have a coaching business, one of the best ways to widen your reach and to grow your business is through podcasting. You develop that no like trust factor that everyone talks about by sharing your style of coaching, your stories, your knowledge, your wisdom. And it's so easily accessible now. The rate that podcasting is growing is incredible. It just continues to climb and climb and climb. And even more so now that we have beautiful Gen Zers who have had a phone, a smartphone, and it just continues to grow and grow and grow. So it is absolutely accessible to so many people, millions of people. It's convenient for listeners to open up their podcast app while they're doing chores, walking their dog, picking up kids from school. It's easy for them to open up a podcast app and pull up a podcast and listen to you. It's convenient for people to listen to an episode and share with a friend. I, for one, just did this this morning. I have been binge listening to a new podcast all on wellness. I, for those of you who don't know, I used to be a personal trainer, so I geek out on wellness stuff for fun now because that's not my main job anymore. So I have been loving this new podcast called, it's not new, but it's a new podcast to me called Mind Pump Media or Mind Pump Fitness. I think that's what it's called. And I literally just shared it with friends this morning that we're in a workout group, accountability group together. And I shared it with them because it was easy. It was easy to share that with them. Now, guess what? I know that all of them are going to go listen to that. So Mind Pump Media as a podcast just gained more and more listeners because it was easy for me to send that in that, in that medium. So think about it. If you're a podcaster, the biggest compliment is to get someone to share your episode. So what an honor. That is multiplication at its finest, efficient marketing. (laughs) And when you have a podcast, that is an easy way to do that. And to see through stats like on Libsyn, on this hosting platform, like I shouted out at the very beginning, I can see Texas and North Carolina show up. I can see that Singapore is listening. That is wild to me. And you can do the same. That is increasing your reach. That is hard to do on other platforms. So again, increasing your reach in a whole 
new way and amplifying your voice to reach wider and wider and wider. The third benefit is expanding your professional and personal network. As a podcaster, one of the greatest benefits in getting to know people from, I mean, just everywhere. It's, it's one of the most beautiful things to sit down on a Zoom and be instantly connected and to have incredible conversations with people from everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I've connected with people back in 2016 when I first started and I was purely a podcast producer. That was all I did was I got to network with some really amazing, influential people, big time authors, big speakers. But I'll tell you this, when I started my own podcast a few years later, the most rewarding part of being a podcaster was sitting and having real conversations with other entrepreneurs, other podcasters, other ministry leaders, stay-at-home moms, and hearing their stories and hearing their vision for impact. What an incredible honor it is to know people because of podcast interviews and podcast guesting and connecting for online summits and listening to other podcasts and connecting with them and reaching out with, to them. In my boot camps, it's really fun to watch the connections start to happen, not only just in being real and walking through creating something of importance together, but there's a beautiful connection with each other to just really see each other and to support one another and to expand our networks. And even like I just think about one of my dearest friends, we are connected and we are expanding each other's networks because we have started to think, how can we collaborate with each other and expand our networks and, and come together and multiply our impact. So that is the beauty in and starting a podcast is you have more and more opportunities to connect with people heart to heart. And that's what matters. Number four, systematic content creation. So this is basically, I call it the pyramid of content. I don't know about you, but creating content for multiple platforms sounds overwhelming. I mean, if you think about it, if you're a entrepreneur you have a newsletter, you need to create content for LinkedIn and Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook Lives, Instagram Lives, and it can be downright overwhelming if you don't have a plan. And here is where I want to advocate. <laughs> with a podcast, you start with that at the top. That is the top of your funnel. That is your content pyramid at the very, very tip top. Your episodes are going to filter down into each of these avenues. So right now, if I have a podcast, all on the benefits of starting a podcast, well, this week inside of my newsletter, LinkedIn, Instagram, any of these, we're going to be talking about the benefits of starting a podcast, because that is the most aligned way to create content, because the last thing that we need to be doing is throwing multiple topics out there of content into all these different platforms and it not be streamlined because then we're going to confuse our client or our listener. So in my boot camps, hint, hint, <laughs> we talk about this a lot. We talk about coming up with a podcast content plan and there's a reason because we want to make sure a, we don't run out of energy, creative energy. We need to conserve that puppy. And so systematic content creation is going to be priority. Coming into alignment with your business and supporting your business. If you have a business that you're wanting to support through your podcast or ministry, this is priority. And that is a huge benefit of having a podcast because it allows you to come up with 
good meaty content and filter that through all of the avenues and having a plan. All right, number five, a benefit of starting a podcast. It is an opportunity to help you monetize and it has to have a strategy and you have to have patience. Through podcasting, you are able to market well by showing, we've talked about this, so taste and see concept, right? We want people to come to our table and taste the food, right? So part of that is putting our content out there for people to taste and see that it is good. And in that, you can promote your coaching courses, or maybe you have a membership, or you can add affiliate links of the things that you're talking about. That's one way that you can monetize. You can have sponsors. And I always caution people with the sponsors and of course, advertising that yes, that's a way to monetize. However, the most effective is if you are a coach or an author of a book or a journal, then this is the best way to promote your own business. Feed it right back into your business or your ministry. That is number one key above. I mean, that is like the number one success margin is feeding people back into your membership, to your programs, to your courses, by far, by far, more than advertising, any of that. I want to give you an example. I actually have a couple of podcasters who have written a journal lately, and they both are unique. They both are stunning. They're very different from each other. And yet they are utilizing it in their podcast. So one in particular, she just wrote a book and a journal, and she is breaking it down piece by piece, chapter by chapter, and, and hitting it at a different angle. That is brilliant. Talk about systematic content creation. She has a plan of, okay, she just wrote this huge book and a journal to go along with it. Now she is using that as the content inside of her podcast. She is promoting her book and her journal at the same time inside of her podcast. And she's creating a time and an opportunity for clients to come in and work with her as a kingdom life coach. That right there, that is success. That is huge benefits of starting a podcast. So as you can hear, the benefits of starting and growing your podcast are huge. It does take time. It does take energy and it does take effort. But if you have support of a podcast coach and you walk with a group of people who are in the common position as you, whether it's you are a very beginner and you just have an idea and you want to launch a podcast, finding that group to be with is going to be so impactful for you. And it will help you take step-by-step -step manageable actions to create a successful podcast. I want to say all that and say, if you are still on the fence even after hearing all of these benefits of starting one, I want you to reach out to me. Let's schedule a 30 minute consult and let's talk about your idea, your dream. And I want to support you in the best way that I can. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that going through the podcast boot camp from idea to launch, that's my beginner podcast boot camp it is going to be extremely valuable and it will absolutely be something that you have invested wisely in and will see the benefit right away because there's so much value in doing this together and to doing it alongside of a community in similar circumstances and to have somebody who has been in this field for seven years, I've been here in all areas of podcasting. <laughs> and so I encourage you to check it out at the link below. Now, I did say 
that I was going to end with the podcast question of the week, and it does have to do with the benefits of starting a podcast. I have had multiple people, especially in the last couple of months, ask me, Kristen, I already have a Facebook Live. Do I really need a podcast? Or the other question is, I already have YouTube. I've been doing videos or content on there. Should I start a podcast? The, the, the answer to both of those is yes, absolutely, 100%. Yes, please do it. And here's the reason. It kind of goes back to the question of expanding our network. You have people that are just Facebookers or they're just YouTube video watchers, and that's fine. But when you just here's the thing is you've already done all the work. <laughs> you've already created content and all you have to do is strip the audio from those things and put it into a podcast. That's it. And then you're going to expand your reach more than you have. And, and the reason being is because you now have opened up another door for people who they don't have time to sit there and watch a Facebook Live. They don't have time to, to watch a YouTube video, but they do have time to plop some AirPods in their ears and take their dog on a walk or do chores around the house while listening to you. And it is so easy to do, and you've already done all of the content work. So just expand your reach even more. You got this. And if you have questions about that, again, schedule a consult with me. I love that question because it's, it's such an easy, yep, let's just rip that audio. And what I mean by rip the audio is you take the audio itself and you put it into an RSS feed, which is a podcast essentially. So, all right. I hope you guys have a great week. I am looking forward to, I'm so excited for this upcoming podcast boot camps, both for the brand new beginner podcaster and to the seasoned current podcaster who is wanting to take it to a next level. All right, stay tuned for the next few weeks. We're going to be talking about how do you start a podcast, the equipment that goes into it, how do we grow a podcast. So I'm excited for that. Again, Texas, North Carolina, shout out. Leave a review in Apple or in Spotify. I want to specifically just say thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening today, you guys. Hey, before you go, this summer, we are going to offer you a chance to join in to our next round of boot camps. There are two. One is for the brand new podcaster. You don't have a podcast yet, but you are wanting to launch a podcast by the end of 2023. Our podcast bootcamp from idea to launch is an eight week group coaching course for you who is ready to take that step and make that dream a reality. And our second podcast bootcamp is our podcast growth and monetization. This is a chance for my current podcasters out there that are wanting to up level and continue to grow and expand and monetize your business with your podcast. This is another eight week program where we are going to be group coaching with you week by week and having that accountability to up level your podcast. So come and join me. The link's down below. We start August 1st. So make sure you sign up by the end of July.